Hello friends. So today what we're going to do is go through a really quick um, exercise in uh, raw JavaScript. And within raw JavaScript, I think it's pretty important to do little katas, like just to keep your coding up to snuff. I usually do it in the morning. I'll either do a uh, raw JavaScript kata, or I'll do some kind of Ruby kata, or something. But they're all over the internet. You can find them. So the one that we're working with today is a problem. It's a it's a math problem, uh, obviously, having to do with the sum of squares versus the square of sums and the difference between the two. So basically, the sum of squares is basically you given a number, let's just say ten. The sum of the squares would be one to, one squared plus two squared plus three squared plus four squared all the way up to the given number which is 10. That'll give you around 385 or actually it'll give you 385. Uh, the square of the sum of the first 10 natural numbers is different. You add those together, you one plus two plus three all the way up to 10 and then you square that. So that'll give you a bigger number. That'll give you 3025. So what we want to know is the difference between those two of the from the first 100 natural numbers. So basically we want to go on one side, we want to go 1 uh, squared plus 2 squared all the way up to 100 uh, squared. We want to know what that is. And then on the other one we want to go 1 plus 2 plus all the way up to 100. And then we want to square whatever that answer is and we want to compare the two. Cool. So how would we do that? A uh, good way in JavaScript to just write code to where you're just doing little problems like this is using immediately invocable function expressions. Uh, they're called ifies, that's for the acronym. The way that you do that is just wrap in parentheses um, this, uh, this ify. So let's start it out. We'll write a function and we'll call it, uh, we'll just call it rawjs because that's what the file is called. You can call it whatever you want. And in this function, we're going to need to set up some variables. We'll set up a max variable, which is 100, which is the number that we're given. We'll set up an x, and that'll equal 0. And then we'll just actually copy this. And we're going to need a y, an i, and a j. Cool. So let's do y, j, i. Okay. So now we need to write another ify. This one's the first part of the question, which is the sum of the squares. So let's do a function wrapped in parentheses, and we'll call this one sum of squares. Or sum of square, we'll keep it singular. Uh, and in this one, we're going to want to do a while loop. We'll do while i, which is going to be our incrementer, is less than max, which is 100. So for each, until, until it reaches 100, what we're going to want to do set that x and add to it math.pow and I'll, I'll, I'll explain what math, what this is doing right here. Uh, so math.pow in JavaScript is a built-in object. Uh, let's go into node real quick. And so if given a number, what this method does is the first argument is the number. So let's go, let's just say 4 and we want to know what 4 squared is. The second, the second um, argument is the exponent. So if we return that, it'll be 16. So let's just check that 4 times 4 is 16. So what this does is given the first argument, uh, which is the number, the base, and then giving the second argument is the exponent. So if you wanted to do uh, math.pal uh, 4, and this time you wanted it cubed, it would give you 64. And if you check that 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So that's how that works. So in this line right here, what we're going to want to do is add add to the x, which starts out as 0, math.pal i squared. i will run through this loop until it reaches 100. So it'll be 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared. And it will add all of those to x. Right? So that's all pretty easy. So we just want to, uh, afterwards, we need to post increment the i. And then we need to return the x. And then here is where we invoke that function. So with ify, since they're wrapped in parentheses, you can invoke them afterwards right here using parentheses. And that's what we've done. So this block of code will run immediately. 
this whole block of code is going to run immediately, but I'll get to that. So we'll make another function, and this will be our second part, which is the square, uh, the, uh, square of the sums, right? So we'll just do square of sums, sum, and then within that one, we'll also do a while loop. It's quite similar. We use j this time. j as long as it's less than or equal to max. We're going to add to y, which is set at 0 up here. y and j, they're both set at 0. We're going to add to that j. And then we're going to increment j each time through the loop. So now it's just adding the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way up to 100, just adding that to y. Then after that, what we're going to do is set y equal to math.pal, and this is where we're going to square it, y uh, squared, right? And then we're just going to return y. I actually missed a semicolon here. Okay, so now that we have that, we need to invoke this function, same as the other one. Cool. So both of these lines of code, both of these blocks of code will run because they've both been invoked. So then what we need to do is console.log. Uh, we'll do um, the answer. And then we'll add and then wrap in parentheses y minus x. And return. Okay, here, this, right here, if we invoke here, it will invoke this whole block of code by invoking it here. So when we run it, all of this code should run and spit out the answer. So let's save that, let's go to node, let's get out of prompt, okay, node. And uh, what's it called? Raw. All right, here we go. Boom. So the answer is the difference between the two is two five one four blah 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 blah. That big number. So that's a quick small little kata. But doing those every day, finding out how to do little things in JavaScript, like today you learned how to use the math.pal method for the math object. That's cool. Learning how to write a uh, big immediately, in, Im immediately invocable function expressions. That's cool. So doing these small exercises every day really do pay dividends in learning good programming principles. So I hope this helps. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. I'm probably just going to start recording one every morning when I get to work. Uh, so yeah, if you like them and you think that this is helpful, Keep on coming back, man. All right, have a good one.